The steam which comes out of a kettle is not so much a gas as a vapour. To convert it to superheated or dry steam, it must either be pressurised beyond anything practical for motive power, or further heat energy must be applied to the vapour. But in traditional boilers, the fluid was being boiled and then just sent on its way. German engineer Wilhelm Schmidt was the first to apply proper thermodynamic principles to design, rather than just using trial and error. He correctly calculated several advantages to dry steam, and so designed a system where the steam, instead of being fed straight to the cylinders, would first be run through several narrow pipes running through the flues. This allowed the steam to be heated up into the superheated region as it travelled. The advantages of this system soon manifested themselves. The entropy of the fluid will remain constant as it travels through the cylinders. The useful work energy produced by the fluid in this stage is equal to the drop in heat energy.